What's up guys, it's Fallon and today I thought I would do a super affordable lip products haul. So recently I went out and bought a couple of lip products because I was going to be traveling to another area kind of nearby but I wanted to switch up my lip products because I usually tend to stick to more neutral colors so for me that's like browns and um, light light pinks and stuff but I wanted to kind of jump out of my comfort zone so the places that I went I went to Walgreens today actually and I bought a couple of products that I haven't opened yet so I actually got these three let's see they are called bomb stains and they're from wet and wild and they look like this the first color is called made you pink and it looks like this. It's a really cute light. It looks kind of rosy to me. And I have not tried this yet. So my mom actually was the one who referred this product to me. And she said she really likes it. So I wanted to try it too. And then the second one that I got was called Caffeine X. Which looks like this. And obviously it kind of puts you in the mind of coffee a little bit. Which is still... In my brown comfort zone but I wanted to make sure that I get something that I know I'll probably like and then the last one um, from the mega sticks bomb stains that I got was this color right here and it is called truffle in paradise so hopefully I like these I think I will because I don't really have any stains and I want to try some so we'll see. The next thing that I got from Walgreens was this lipstick right here and it's also wet and wild and this one is more of a matte color. Um, it is called Mochalicious and it's also a brown color. I know I said I was trying to jump out of my comfort zone but clearly my comfort zone is sticking to me. Something that's not so related to lip products but I wanted to try were a couple of Maybelline mascaras. So I haven't opened these either and these also came from Walgreens. The first one I got is called the Define the Lash Lengthening Mascara and it looks like this. This one is in the color Very Black and I hope I like it. I usually like Maybelline products, but we'll see. So I got the lengthening, a lengthening mascara. And then I also got the Maybelline Volume Express Mascara, also in very black. And these I used to see in a lot of um, hauls and stuff, but I never tried it. So I'm a little late, but I still wanted to try it. So I got the two, the one lengthening and the, the one volume express volume express so I wanted to try and use them together to see if they work well together and actually like make my lashes kind of pop moving on from Walgreens um, I went to forever 21 this weekend while I was in Charleston and I picked up a couple of little beauty products from the store so I've never tried any of their makeup products before but I got two lipsticks and they look like this the first one is called Coral Pink and it looks like this. It's a very pretty color. I just don't know how I feel about corals because I feel like, I don't know, maybe my skin, like my undertones or something just don't work well with corals, but I will see if I can try to make it work. And then the next one I got was called hot pink and this one I actually have it on just a little bit on right now mixed with one of the lip glosses that I also got and it looks like this it's a very pretty color very spring oriented in my opinion both of these colors actually and then the last thing I got from forever 21 was this little compact mirror and it says young and free on it and I just thought it was really cute and um, very nice quality um, looks like that on the inside it's pretty cute 
All right, and then the last couple things that I got were from actu actually like a beauty supply store that I'm from a place in my hometown. This little bag right here was given to me when I bought all these in the store. But these are by the brand NK. Um, I don't know what the N and the K stand for, but yeah, so I got, oh, wow, okay. I got six of these colors. So the first one that I got is called Too Hot, and it looks like this. And the brush that comes with it is this type of brush right here. So I actually really like this color. It shows up really well, and it's a gloss, but it still feels really moisturizing, and I usually tend to like glosses like that. Then the next one that I got is called Morning Glory, and it's this color right here. It's actually kind of a fuchsia, purpley looking color, but I don't think it's like coming off that well on camera. But this is also a really pretty color in the tube, but when I put it on, it's kind of like translucent, I guess. It's very thin, and even with like a couple layers, it doesn't really show up this color. So I was actually using it in combination with this lip gloss, and that's what I'm wearing today. But you can't really tell. I don't think you can really tell. And then, let's see. I also picked up this color called Cherry, which I don't know why it's called Cherry, because it's actually kind of a pinky color, like a hot pink. But, uh, yeah. This one's also the same as this one. It does not really show up at all. But I said I could use it as like a top coat over some lipstick and give it a little shine. And then the last three colors are in my comfort zone, which are these three brownish looking colors. The first one, I've, I used to use this one long ago when I was in like high school. And... This one is called Dawn, and it's actually a really pretty color. It's just like a light, almost like a brightening lip color because it just makes my lips kind of pop, even though it's a brown. And then this color is called One Time, and this one is actually a brown. And it does show up brown. It's actually almost like my exact lip color, so you can't really tell that I have on lip gloss when I'm wearing it, but... I like it. And then the last one, the last item that I have from this little lip gloss collection is called Precious. And this one shows up as kind of like a burgundy-ish red color. And I actually really like this color. I wore it all weekend, so while I was in Charleston, and it was really good. The last two items that I have that I bought from this store also are these two lipsticks right here. The first one is from Ultra Stick, made by Ultra Stick, and I actually thought I was going to really like this. I did try it out slightly, but it looks like this. It's a, also a brown, and it looks like this, but it has like a pile of glitter in it, like chunky glitter. I don't even know if you could see. Mm, not really, but it's got some really thick thick chunks of glitter in it and I don't really like the way that feels on my lips so as far as this color which I don't know if it has what it's called on here but I would not oh it's called it's by this company right here on the bottom but I would not purchase this product again it's not really my thing chunks of glitter in lipstick not my thing and then this one is also by that same lip gloss brand right here. And it is called Coral Dreams, which is also another coral color. And it actually looks really pretty, but on my lips, it's like, whoa. I don't know, corals and my lips just, they don't, they don't cooperate very well. But that is all that I got. 
on my little lip product shopping spree. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it, give it a thumbs up for me. And if you're interested in checking out any of my other videos, feel free to do so. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. If I told you you were, if I told you you were, if I told you you were beautiful, beautiful. If I told you you were beautiful, beautiful. If I told you you were beautiful.